I'm just gonna wing it. What's up guys? Kenny with Northern Performance Cars here. So uh, as we've mentioned in the previous videos, we've had a pretty long summer, uh, a lot of work, a lot of racing, so just a lot of time on the road. Um, I don't know if many of you knew, but I, I sold the Fox body, the Calypso green one. <laughs> So we kind of wanted to put together a little video since we never spent any time with it on video. Um, just we're going to throw like 20 runs on a video and just play it out for like a remembrance ballad. Uh, but I don't know if you guys remember, we, we kind of mimicked and copied the Camaro build that we did the 1800 horsepower video on. Um, so it was a 388 cubic inch LS Next uh, dart block, aluminum block. Uh, we had Brodix BR1 heads on it, Cathedral Port with a Brian Tooley Racing Equalizer intake. Uh, I did a little bit of hand porting and polishing on that and uh, basically an off-the-shelf camshaft nothing crazy OEM rocker arms with uh, you know the trunnions and stuff the shaft system from Brian Tooley Racing um, Wiseco pistons off the shelf a nice set of rods a nice crank from Cali's and um, and GTR 98 went uh, 680s at 202 and a quarter, uh, 36 pounds of boost at 170 and an eighth. Um, so then towards the end of the year, so we ended up having the, about the only issue I had all summer with the Fox body was I ended up breaking the, uh, I did a mechanical diode in it and PTC had put in a five strut diode and I didn't know that. I never checked it and I ended up breaking it after like 20 some passes. So I was starting to have some issues and I was like, what in the heck is going on here? It ended up being, I broke this, the sprag in it. Um, so we went back to a Spragless deal, switched to a Hughes converter. Uh, Pete with Hughes Performance hooked me up with a nice little converter, a little bit looser than the PTC. So it definitely wasn't as good in a quarter, but it was a little looser, got the car out of the line. We ended up going 438 and 172.7 in the eighth uh, with another force inductions unit. We tried to 107 just because. Uh, so the, the Hughes did have a little bit more slip, so it, it soaked up a little bit more power through the eighth. Uh, but it definitely got it out of the hole a little quicker, did some you know sub 10s with it. Uh, sorry, sub 1-1s. One, one. So we did some 108, 60 foots, 108, 109s. Um, but anyways, like a stout unit, E85 street car, power windows, 1-8 inch subwoofer, uh, 28 to 2,900 pounds, depending on what was in it and how much fuel at the time, uh, passenger seat or not. So it was a super cool deal. Uh, definitely gonna miss that car. It was super fast, super fun. Uh, turned a lot of heads. And like I said, the best part was still intercooled on E85. We're using Ignite Barrel Red. Um, just a little bit better fuel. I mean, I'm sure we could have done the same thing on the pump, but. Uh, just a little more quality fuel like hey why not um, but super awesome anyways i mean high six second car towards the end of the year if we just spent more time you know we could have got down a little lower but you know we're just always racing in 4500 da and 85 degrees the summer just kicked my butt so uh, we ended up taking an offer on it getting rid of it and put the money down on this building so uh, spent another year or two you know trying to build stuff up and and put some time and effort into the building and take a little break from the racing so it'll be good for everybody so uh anyways yeah we'll run through some videos if you guys are interested check out uh just a bunch of passes from the green car and kind of like a like a goodbye video to it so thanks guys stay tuned if you like it hit the like button if you like it even more hit the subscribe button